Okay, everyone. Uh, well, welcome back to another edition of our uh, Backcountry Tour of Idaho. This is going to be stop number... What are we even today? Uh, we're going to try out for flight, actually, in today's video. So, let me go ahead and pull up... Uh, Google Earth. And we will get started here. I was going to take a look at the the route like we normally do in Google Earth and just kind of survey surveil the, the terrain that way. Okay guys, uh, so here we are at Dixie uh, and we're going to come out of Dixie. We're going to head to the south and east to Chamberlain. So we're going to do a ferry flight today with, uh, I will do, um, uh, take the Kodiak 100 and we'll take a couple of people. Uh, let's just take some uh, of the folks who flew into Dixie on our delivery flight the other day. We'll hop them over to Chamberlain. We'll reposition them over to Chamberlain, which is uh, backcountry stop number 29. And let's just go ahead and jump in and take a look at the terrain we'll be flying over. Okay. Let's do this. that over there so we're coming from Dixie and what's interesting is it's really kind of hard to tell from here but let's go down here a second and flatten this out a little bit it's a little bit better it's Chamberlain right okay so let's just try this a second and let's flatten this back out a little bit like that you can kind of see we're way up on some ridges here, climb up over here, and then we drop over this valley, and then there's a couple of pretty, a couple of higher ridges we need to get across. Those are up there a ways, maybe even a little above 8,000, so, uh, and then we'll come in here, and we have two runways we can land on our, at uh, Chamberlain. We'll probably take a look at the four-flight weather and see what way the wind's blowing, and we'll figure out what we want to do here. So... That's what we'll do. Um, let's see. You can kind of see we're kind of up over a ridge and then down the backside. It's fairly, let's say, flat here, but it's not super tight. We just have some terrain to climb out over with. So this is actually going to be a good, you know, little workhorse for the for the. Um, kind of see here there's Dixie we'll hop up over here climb up over this little bit of higher spot and then drop down into Chamberlain um, we've been you know as remember we've been kind of cruising around this area and going up here and flying around in this area that we popped over here hit Dixie town on these so we kind of went through the main fork of the Salmon River Valley uh, up here and now we're gonna now that we've got delivery of that that plane, uh, the, the Kodiak 100, we're going to use that to hop over here, and that should be a pretty good uh, mission for this particular plane. Uh, as we get off to some other sites that we're going to go to, we're going to determine what's the best plane for those, but for now we'll stick with the Kodiak 100 um, turbine and uh, just work that out for a little bit. Um, let's go ahead and get into four flight now and we'll see what we can figure out. You know, this is how we've been doing it with Google Earth. I kind of want to see what my options are for kind of figuring this stuff out. If I just have four flight and I want to, you know, find out how well it works for this kind of flying. I'm sure it'll be work, you know, if you're going for more improved airports, there's more information available and approaches and things like that. There's different aspects of four flight, but for just this type of flying, I'm kind of wondering what we have at our disposal in the iPad itself. So um, let's go ahead and take a look. We'll jump in and do that right now, and then we'll get going. Shouldn't be a very long trip today, maybe 10 minutes or something like that, just to hop over there uh, once we get uh, off of Dixie. So you guys enjoy. Let's take a look now at what it looks like in the iPad on four flight. When 
anyone to get off their darkest ground But gravity pulls you straight down Earth from a bird's eye view You should grow feathers and see this too uh, good afternoon, welcome to another edition of our backcountry tour of Idaho. Today we're going on stop number 29, uh, taking some Forest Service uh, personnel over from Dixie in our newly delivered Kodiak 100. We're going to take them from Dixie over to Chamberlain. Not too far, about 10 minute hop flight, but uh, over we're going to climb out pretty good. And drop over the uh, Salmon River Valley and then, or Canyon maybe, I don't know what you want to call it. Uh, climb up a little over a couple little ridges and then drop back down into Chamberlain. So workhorse flight for the Kodiak, but one that's well equipped for. So we're going to also record and for flight. There we go. Well, let me go back there a second. We're going to have to get the doors closed up. So. Okay. Okay, and we're ready to go. It's uh, getting a little later in the day than we thought, so we're gonna go ahead and get ourselves going here. We need to get the fuel turned on. Let's see here. That's gotta be on. And let's go here. We're going to get, okay. Producing fuel. NG's 20, we're good to go. Uh, it's looking like a good start to me. Okay, what we're going to do, we're going to put our altitude, we're going to climb up to about 95, get up over those ridges, so we're going to do that, we're going to set indicated airspeed, and we'll climb out at, I guess I'm going to say 85. Go 80, go 89. Lamps are in. Okay, and Dixie traffic November 107 Robert Romeo. Air taxi for a departure to the south. We're heading VFR uh, over to Chamberlain. Taxi traffic. Dixie traffic number 107, Bravo Romeo. Back taxiing for departure runway 18, Dixie. And everything's looking pretty good. We've got our flaps set for 
take off. Things looking good. Weight balance, check, check, check. Enough fuel, or just a very short flight today, only about 10 minutes, so. And we're taking some of the U.S. Forest Service personnel from Dixie over to Chamberlain. And so Chamberlain traffic, November 107, Bravo Romeo, departing runway 18, Chamberlain. Said. Climbing right for that little break in that action right there. Just gonna make sure I climb appropriately first. And we're heading south. We need to turn out to a little bit more to the southwest, so we're on a hundred degree heading or so probably eventually. Take a look at uh, four flight here. I'm looking down on my iPad, and we're making executing a turn out to the left. And right about now, I'm going to continue to just turn just a little bit more to the left. And uh, you know, we'll continue our climb up to 95. Uh, we might just need to get a little altitude because there's a little bit of a, oh, some of the peaks on our way there, just a little high, about 8,500, so we're to be a little bit safely above those. And down below us, as you recall, that uh, Salmon River just to the south of us, Wilson Bar, Mackey Bar, back around that way, Shep Ranch, behind us, Dixie and Dixie Town. We're just crossed over the main fork of the salmon. We're continuing, oh, we're just crossing it now. Actually, we've already crossed the main fork, crossing. How are we doing there? This is not the main fork, this is another. Uh, take that back, this is the main fork we're crossing right now. Right below us. There we go. Down that way towards Wilson Bar and Mackey Bar. And all the strips before, remember we were at, uh, oh, we were at uh, Yellow Jacket and um, Wiley Ranch and Crassel and a whole bunch of other cool spots down there. So 
we're making a uh, swing through the north part of our region here. Um, and then we'll be heading on to a few more stops, but pretty soon we're going to be into some really good stuff on Big Creek, which are some of my favorite strips. So uh, a couple of high mountain strips here that are not that tight. We're going to be using the Kodiak for, but uh, in the not too distant future here, we will be hitting some really tight backcountry strips that are super fun. And we'll figure out what planes we're going to use for that. And we'll try the Kodiak wherever we can. But uh, feeling we might want to get back into one of, uh, you know, maybe the Shock Ultra or something like that. Um, don't forget our 170, which I like. And I still have to, I think we still owe it to ourselves to do a couple of, oh, uh, we got to get a Kit Fox into a couple of these places and a Husky just for my own. I won't feel good about it if I don't, so we're going to try that. Um, and we might try a couple other planes too, but for now, I'm going to... Are we going to be able to sneak through here VFR? I don't know. Let's see. Maybe not. Probably not. Well, then we got some yeah, clouds building up on these ridges, so we're just gonna have to press through those. And we're gonna take since we're going into that anyway, we're gonna go right here. And set up probably for runway two five, I'm thinking it uh Chamberlain. power a bit here and slow us up just a tad. We're going to go vertical speed. We're going to start descending a bit. So altitude, we're over our ridges now, vertical speed, down, down, down. There we go, there's Chamberlain. Autopilot's coming off.
Yeah, Chamberlain Traffic, number 107, Bravo Romeo, final runway 25, Chamberlain. too dark, which is always good. Enjoyed that stop number 29. Real quick hop from Dixie U.S. Forest Service strip over to Chamberlain U.S. Forest Service strip. 